and greetings to my five listeners. Um, sometimes when I upload a video, I suddenly have a mental breakthrough, and I think that's what I'm experiencing now. I hope I can sometimes explain my video better after I attempt and fail. Uh, and I, I'm going to illustrate my point that I want to make this way. I'm not promiscuous, and I um, was involved with a woman on one occasion, and it's a woman that I intended to marry, and it's a woman that I thought I knew well. And <clears throat> I had been um, pried loose of my religious convictions at that point, and she and I had our first rendezvous, rendezvous in my home. She dropped by, and I invited her to. I guess I had a case of dumb, and I've since recovered from that. But at one point, apparently, she was wearing only a sweater or a shirt, some kind of a pullover type of a garment. And she turned her back to me and pulled the garment off, and I saw her shoulders. She had very broad shoulders. She was otherwise totally feminine, totally unintimidating, totally non-aggressive. In fact, she was very pleasant and laid back, easygoing, agreeable. But she had broad shoulders for a woman. And when I saw those shoulders, my first response was, oh my God, oh my God, I don't, maybe I don't know this, quote, woman, unquote, as well as I thought. Because from the back, looking at her shoulders, she looked like a man, and she could actually uh, playfully pose, do an Arnold Schwarzenegger muscle pose, flexing her arms from the back, and it was quite impressive. Uh, she had broad, massive shoulders for a woman. But again, otherwise, uh, she was totally feminine and pleasant. She was playful, actually. But she was uh, stocky. Okay, um, I could dress as something other than what I am, yet I would still be who I am and what I am. Some politicians are very adept at masquerading at a game of charade. Instead of saying socialism, they say economic justice. And they're even careful in most cases to avoid words like redistribution of wealth or as Obama said, foolishly, before he ran for the office of president, redistributive change. And he lamented the shortcomings of the civil rights movement with their emphasis on um, the courts and said that that is not the way to get economic justice or redistributive change. That's not a way to redistribute the wealth, not through the courts. You can only do that through legislation. You need a politician to go to Washington for you if you want the goodies, if you want the handouts, if you want housing and health care and food stamps and so-called tax credits, which are welfare. You know, that's another thing. Instead of a handout, they call it a tax credit. And even George Bush uses terms like that. Both parties are are swerving to the left, but they hide their identity. They're cross-dressers. They are men dressed as women, women dressed as men. That's my point. They're not who they seem to be. If you're asleep and if you're not paying attention, they'll fool you. If you're asleep, and you're not paying attention, they will fool you. If you are asleep, if you're not paying attention, they will fool you, and they have been fooling you for decades.
the world has been overrun with socialism. Socialism does not create wealth. It leads to despair and poverty and oppression. There is only one target left. There is only one target left, and I see that my upload failed due to rain, I suppose, because it's raining. There is only one target left, and that is the West, and primarily the United States. Because you, why, why are we a target? Why are we a target? Are they wanting to liberate us? No. They want our wealth, because they ain't got none. They ain't got none. They can't produce wealth. They have to, they have to take wealth. They have to redistribute the wealth that somebody else produced. Put yourself in the position of George Soros, who is holding a huge short position in U.S. dollars. Now, he's not dumb. He has, he has seen what, what happens to countries which are overthrown by communist revolutions. He's seen that in every case, the economy collapses. In the case of Zimbabwe, the inflation is astronomical. The farmland is sitting idle. Farm equipment that was seized by the government and given to uh, political cronies. Farm equipment sits idle, rusting, in fields uh, overgrown with wild grass. The Supreme Court never ventured into the issues of redistribution of wealth uh, and sort of more basic issues of political and, and, and uh, economic justice in the society. And uh, uh, to that extent, as radical as I think people tried to characterize the Warren Court, uh, it wasn't that radical. It, it didn't break free from the essential constraints that were placed uh, uh, by the founding fathers in the Constitution, redistribution of wealth, redistribution of wealth. The Supreme Court never ventured into the issue of distribution of wealth uh, and sort of more basic issues of political and, and, and uh, economic justice, economic justice, economic justice in the society. And uh, uh, to that extent, as radical as I think people tried to characterize the Warren Court, uh, it wasn't that it didn't break free from it, it didn't break free from it, it didn't break free from essential constraints that were placed uh, uh, by the founding fathers in the constitution uh, by the founding fathers in the constitution uh, by the founding fathers in the constitution